All right, team, Stephanie here from Healthcare EDU. Make sure you like and subscribe. So my screen is already open to the Massachusetts Nurse Aid Candidate Handbook. And if you need it, if you're my student, you've received it in an email, but I'm going to put the link down below where you can download it. Um, and this is not my product, I didn't create it and you're not gonna be charged, but just so it's housed, you can download it. You can go to the HD Headmaster website, but I'll also put it on my page so you could download a copy. All right, so what I'm going to do in the next series of videos, make sure you like and subscribe, is go over the changes from the previous pro metrics. I'm going to try to keep these videos real short and brief. So what I want to point out right now is the changes. Um, they're going to give you one of these four skills mandatory and then uh, three to four other ones that you don't know about. But in this one, we're going to focus on the bedpan. On my channel, you'll find several bedpan videos. One was the way Prometrics did it, which is a great video, and it's how to place someone on a bedpan. What um, DNS or TMU has done has added a component of emptying the contents of the bedpan into a graduate cylinder and measure it. So what's throwing people off is that they're combining two skills. So let's take a look at bedpan. What I want to point out here, and again, don't worry if I'm scrolling too fast. Again, you can go download it. So you must have a score of 80% on each task without missing any key steps. And the bolded steps, you need the bolded steps to pass. Um, okay. So with this one, you want to make sure that you pay attention to the bolded steps, not saying that you're going to do everything else incorrect. Okay. And what I think is more easier to read with this checklist than previous checklists is that it really is a step-by-step. -step. So on page 32 of this document, you see it says one of the first um, possible first standard um, mandatory tasks and embedded hand washing. There's hand washing for all of them, okay? Um, so what I wanna point out here, place correctly, leave the call light within. Um, and so here, everything is included in the bedpan skill. So after this video, make sure you stay and follow my bedpan skill because I went back into the school and shot this video um, with emptying into the graduate cylinder. So right here, they're basically saying hold the bedpan for the RN test observer while an unknown um, quantity of liquid is poured into the bedpan. So basically, you're going to do the bedpan scale per normal. And then when you're about to exit their room, they're going to pour some liquid into the bedpan. And the only thing that's different now is that you go to your pseudo bathroom. In my video, it's the desk because it's a classroom. Um, and you drop to eye level with the paper towel underneath, empty the contents, and read the contents of the bed um, of the liquid, right? So they're making potentous urine. Afterwards, you hand hygiene and document. Always remember that you document with clean hands. Um, and then here, the bolded candidates recorded measurement is within 25 milliliters of the RN testing. And if you're outside of 25, you probably really don't know how to read it. So of course, at my school, I make sure you know how to read it. All right, so that is just showing you what's on this DNS. Of course, you're able to read. I won't sit and read the whole thing, but make sure you watch the next video. I have uploaded this video, okay? And the link below where you can go download this document. All right, take care.